Hi everybody, I got a moving target uh, do-it-yourself project for you. So what I have here is basically uh, just a simple target frame made out of one by two. I have a couple of pulleys and it's riding on a one inch, one eighth inch wire cable. Now the cable has to be tensioned so I have a turnbuckle here for tensioning. I have and also uh, a guy wire to maintain tension on the target stand and the retrieval or device is actually a clothesline it's one of these uh, clothesline retractors so this will allow the target to zip across the uh, wire here so the target stand itself is a uh, one inch tubing square tubing that you can get from uh, Lowe's or Home Depot it's six feet tall you'll need to drill a few holes on that because you want to keep a downward angle on your wire so gravity helps with the direction of that your targets moving in and also uh, the actual target stand itself I got from Midway USA it was on sale for $14 I took it apart and used one half over here and one half on the other end and the one inch square tubing actually jams down in it real nice and you use a couple of bolts down below to snug it up and then you might need to anchor down to the ground with some anchor bolts and I use these anchor bolts which are really for uh, concrete foundations but you can get these at Lowe's and Home Depot too they're really heavy duty and they work good for anchoring for uh, something that's under a lot of tension like this is so really all you have to do Move your target over here, and I have a simple gate latch to secure it with a string. So it's ready to go. So all you got to do is go back to wherever, wherever the shooter is, and when the shooter's ready, you release the latch. And there she goes. So everything is pretty basic, simple. I believe the uh, clothesline retractor was like $15 or so on Amazon. Probably the most expensive things are the square tubing. Those are over $20 a piece. The target stand itself was just $14 and then you have all the hardware. So really, you know, under 100 bucks you can get this done. Um, if you can disassemble it, take it apart, stow it, take it with you somewhere. It's very easy to stow, all comes apart in little pieces and it works pretty consistently. So have a good time. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, give me a comment and I'll be, I'll do everything I can to help you out. And uh, if you make one of these and yours is going a little bit slow, try a little WD-40, works wonders, make it go much nicer. So other than that, I'll just say goodbye. Adios.